Hi there, Robin here, and I'm talking about this right behind me. That's a green screen. Now, I'm covering up three of my own actual 42 inch monitors just because I want to have something for post production. I thought, oh, you know what? It'd be neat if I can put whatever I want on those screens whenever I want. This would be a great idea. Then you go ahead and do it. And it did take me a little while to get it right. And it's about as right as I can get it. But for me, I'm gonna end up taking it down. And I'm gonna tell you why. Normally, I don't wear this kind of shirt. Normally, I wear a colorful Hawaiian shirt. And if you've watched my channel, of course, you know that. Uh, so I am limiting my wardrobe for my channel. It is called Expert Island. But it doesn't mean I don't want the green screen. I'm just gonna move it. I'm gonna use it in a different way. I'm gonna use it for when I'm doing full on videos of products where I want to basically make the product look like it's, let's say on the wall or, you know, just the, a, a pure image of the product with no background to it at all. And then have me there as a little bonum next to it, you know, saying, Hey, look at this. This is an awesome piece. And here's the big knob that I can turn this way and that way, you know, somehow come up with some creative way of using green screen in a more fun and easy way to use. Now, again, for me here, it's limiting me. One, certain brands have green in their product or in their boxes, and for me, that would be a problem. Uh, so if I was to take and have a Mackie box here, for example, so if I was trying to have this product in the picture, see now this company, Mackie, really great company, and they've got you know black, white, and green. And by the way, very popular brand, and that would be very hard if I had a green screen. I'd have to get some other color screen and do it with that instead. So problem right here so again i think for me because i like to wear colorful shirts that have green in them i'm gonna have to drop it for it being there i do think like i said before it's gonna be really fun to have green screen to shoot other type of product videos and for me that's a really where it's gonna you know take advantage of having it i think it's gonna be fun to do that so there's always good and bad when it comes to anything, when it comes to recording videos. Uh, green screen, I mean, it fixes a lot of problems. I can have anything I want on those screens in the back, much easier as post-production than pre-production. So, but you also get the restrictions of nothing can be green, and then you have to spend some time really doing color corrections and stuff. There's so much magic that goes on, and people are really good at it. There are people out there who can do that magic, no problem. I just don't have enough time to do my post productions to have added green screen on every single video and to have it there all the time. Now there's also another problem because I had to stick that on there so it would look good. Uh, it's a bit of a pain to take it off and on all the time. So we're not gonna keep it there. I'm gonna go back to what I was doing before which is throwing things on the actual screens. It was good, it gave a very realistic color and it threw the colors that were on the screen back on me which was okay. They call it the volume, which is basically how they make all the movies now, where they have a big LED screen. I mean, like much of the whole room is LED, everything's LED, and they throw whatever they want on that. And that's kind of like what those three screens were doing behind me. Anyways, we're gonna be going back to that, even though I never actually did use this, except to make this video and a bunch of samples that I did yesterday. So you didn't really miss out on anything. This is just really talking about green screen and why I'm not keeping it there. So if you're looking for green screen, what the best thing I can tell you is to keep an open mind about everything that's gonna go on in your scene and how much time you wanna spend in post-production and how good you are at post-production. If you like to learn things, if you're only making one video every week or two and you wanna throw that in because it solves a problem for you, go for it. But you have to ask yourself, does it fit in with everything else you're gonna be doing? So if you're just adding green screen thing, it's gonna be a, you know an easy add-on. You might wanna find something else for the background. If you think it's because it's gonna add dramatically or you don't have any space to have a proper background and you just wanna have something there and you're good at doing these things, by all means, get yourself a green screen. It is very fun. It's a very practical system when it comes to changing the background of anything. Well, there you go. If you're looking for a green screen, I hope this video helped you out a bit in your buying decision today. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. By the way, this is really what this video is going to be about is this mixer here. And this happens to be from Harbinger and it's the LX8. 